with not everyone understanding the grace and the anointing that is on your life. It might just be you and God for a season. Don't worry, soon enough, everybody will see what God saw. But can you be okay if nobody knows it? You and God. Nobody knows how talented I am. That's all right, let them sleep. Nobody knows how gifted I am. That's all right, let them sleep. Because you're not ready for it to be exposed anyway. But God will sit you in the room to give you a preview of what the room feels like before the room knows that it's you. Because I want you to see the character of all the people who are going to be around. With not everyone understanding the grace and the anointing that is on your life. It might just be you and God for a season. Hey, y'all. So I hope you all are doing well and you are having a blessed day. If you are entering this course or if you are viewing this on my YouTube channel, I pray that this message sets you free in any way. And so in this section, we'll be doing... Um, basically pressure creates diamonds don't fold form and so i'm going to start off with the valley of dry bones ezekiel 37 and this is a biblical teaching right but it's also very informative to the process that god will send you through when you are acquiring your per your path to purpose right and so i'm going to go ahead and start i'll be reading from lines 37 through 11 and i am currently um in the weight room y'all this is like my sanctuary outside of my house and so these videos i will not be showing my face but i will be still making it a piece into the eyes so if you hear rattling or anything any other types of noise that is because that is the heater system and yeah so we're going to get started the valley of dry bones the hand of the lord was on me and he brought me out by the spirit of the lord and set me in the middle of a valley it was full of bones he led me back and forth amongst them and i saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley bones that were very dry he asked me son can these bones live the first thing i said was god placed you there because he wants to give you provision for prosperity in a desolate place and so sometimes god will take us from being like in fortune he will take us from being at the top where they be financially physically with opportunities whatever you want to consider whatever your situation is god will take us from that place and purposely sit us in a valley of dry bones it literally says the hand of the lord was on me and he brought me out by the spirit of the lord and set me in the middle of a valley god will purposely take you from where you are physically and spiritually put you in a barren place and sometimes this can also be physically putting you in a barren place it just depends on your situation god purposely placed ezekiel there because he wanted him to see the provision that god had for him and when it's time to go to the next level of your calling of your life on your path to purpose god will purposely take you down from where you currently are and sit you somewhere desolate to show you the spiritual gifts within you to show you the connection with that god has for you this is not limited to ministry this can be literally in any fashion shape or form whatever your purpose is you have to seek god according to that for you but god will purposely take you and put you in a desolate place to show you more provision not only for what he's going to do but what he's going to use you to accomplish through you son of man, he asked me son of man can these bones live i said seven lord you know alone then he said to me prophesy to these bones and say to them dry bones hear the word of the lord this is what the seven lord says to the to these bones i will make breath into you and you will come to life i will attach tennis to you and make flesh come upon you and cover you with skin i will put breath in you and you will come to life then you will know that i am the lord and so going to point two he gives you sight to see but also simultaneously test your ability to receive vision the ability to see what has not yet come to pass so this goes by us walking by faith and not by sight and so when god starts to give you visions dreams and revelations of what he is going to do the test is sometimes in believing in what has not come to pass yet and so god purposely asked ezekiel a rhetorical question because god already knew what was going to happen he knew what he was going to use ezekiel for but because ezekiel was in a barren place he could not see the provision that god wanted to give him and so god purposely spoke directly to him he asked him a question ezekiel responded and then he gave him instructions he said prophesy to these bones and say to them dry bones hear the word of the lord this is what the sovereign lord says to these bones whatever your calling is whatever your situation is god is going to use you to speak to you whether that be through literal messages your fashion your dancing your music whatever the case may be god is going to use you to prophesy to speak a message to speak of living to speak life into things that are already there it also says then you will know that i am the lord
Lord. Yeah, everybody's purpose is linked back to giving glory to God. It's linked to showing who God truly is so that we can bring more souls into the kingdom of salvation. Once again, this is not just limited to ministry, but if you have a calling in ministry, being a prophet, being a messenger, an apostle, whatever you want to call it, that is especially your role and your title. But everybody in the kingdom has a role and an assignment. So whatever your assignment is, God can still use you in the exact same way, but according to your path to purpose. And so going forth, it says, so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as, and as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together. Bone to bone, I looked, and tennis and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them. There was no breath in them. So it says, he gives instruction, power of life and death lies within the tongue. Because we were made in God's image, we have the ability to speak to darkness and bring forth light, just as God did when he was building the creation and the foundations of the earth. And so not only this, immediately when Ezekiel responded and did what God asked him, he saw provision, he saw those things being birthed, he saw darkness being removed and light being implemented because he followed the instructions of God. And so when God gives you an instruction, it's, imp it's important that you follow what God has told you even if you cannot see because sometimes like I said the test is not in believing what you can't see but believing what you cannot see which is which are the things that are to come to pass which is ultimately walking by faith and not by sight then he said to me prophesy to, to the breath prophesy son of man and say to it this is what the servant Lord says come breath from the four winds and breathe into these slain that they may live so I prophesied as he commanded me and breath into them they came to life and stood up on their feet a vast army point number four that I said that I made was after you've been slain god comes and promises to restore you through his spirit but the test is in you speaking what god what god has revealed to you it's do you truly believe because your belief your faith can actually move mountains that in the flesh cannot be moved and sometimes god won't move a mountain in the flesh until in the spirit you are able to truly believe and truly move a mountain spiritually because you're able to break strongholds off of yourself off of your career off of your purpose and spirit and so until you reach that point god can't use you for one once again do you truly believe as ezekiel spoke everything that god said happened so also in this it was a strengthening of gifts because maybe ezekiel had a glimpse of his prophetic gifts maybe he had a glimpse of what god wanted to do through him but in that moment god literally revealed his spirit in an instant he gave an instruction and ezekiel followed and in that moment instantaneous ezekiel saw the actions of things coming to pass it started with ezekiel not believing being unsure he still stepped out on faith he still began to move when God told him to move. He still spoke when God told him to speak. And because of that, he saw life being entered into things that were dead, that were slain. So faith in action is merely moving despite being fearful. There is nothing wrong with being afraid or feeling like you cannot accomplish what God has called you to do. But it becomes a problem when fear stops or derails your movement. If you trust God and move anyway, you will see that your fears and your doubts were only an illusion. And God will teach you that his faithfulness never fails despite your fears but you have to move as you move your fears disappear and your faith is strengthened breath for the, from the four winds and breathe into these slain that they may live so i prophesied as he commanded me and breathed into them they came to life and stood up on their feet a vast army then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the people of Israel. They say our bones are dried up and our hope is gone. We are cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, This is what the sovereign Lord says. My people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I, when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you and you will live. And I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken. I have done it, declares the Lord basically going back to point number one i said provision has been received promises have been restored prophecy and strengthening of gifts granted new assignment has been given and so in all of this ezekiel received a strengthening of the spirit he received provision for what god was going to do he received a strengthening of his spiritual gifts as well as his physical gifts he also received his spiritual authority as well as his physical authority and also promises were restored and so everything that was dry and that was desolate was restored in a moment through a spiritual vision through sight that god specifically spoke to ezekiel and so sometimes god will 
speak something to, specifically to you before it comes to pass because he needs you to be the one to believe because he's going to move through you. And so at this point, God is giving him his promises as well as provisions for what he has for the people of Israel. Whoever you are called to, wherever you are called to, I had to give myself a pep talk today and tell myself like, if you give up, then the people who are connected to you are going to give up. Your purpose, your calling is bigger than you. So I need you to learn how to fight, how to warfare in the spirit, how to move despite your disbelief because that can be the very thing that breaks chains off of you. You don't have to be fearless. You don't have to have it all figured out. God just needs you to move and as you move, your faith will meet you along the way. And sometimes even you moving when you're unsure is still your faith because you're still moving. You're still moving towards that goal. Every day is not going to be a good day. It's not going to be peaches and rainbows. Sometimes you're going to be down and out. You're going to be in emotional distress. You're going to want to quit. You're going to be tired, but it's not important because your emotions are misleading. And so I need y'all to learn how to seek God's spirit over what you feel emotionally. You got to have emotional intelligence. You got to learn how to actually let your emotions come, allow yourself to receive revelation, feel what you feel, and then just let it go. You're human. You're going to have days to where you don't feel like you can do it. You're going to have days to where you don't feel like you're worthy. But in that same instance, God will still see you as the same person who you will be when you will be done with your complete and full transformation. So despite what you think is going to happen, despite what you feel, continue to move because God is always going to move on your behalf and he's definitely going to move through you. That's the conclusion of this video, Ezekiel and the Valley of the Dry Bones. I hope this really opened somebody's ears, their eyes to see, as well as giving them provision and hope for what God wants to do for you. I love you. God love you. Peace, prosperity, and abundance.